Hey guys, this is Duran from the Van Speed Shop. Today we're going to be installing a sliding door and a rear bug net on this 2020 Mercedes Sprinter. For today's install, I'm doing it by myself, so I'm going to grab some clamps. I'm going to need a razor blade to cut off the excess material, and that's it. We're going to start with the sliding door bug net. We're going to go ahead and unpack it and lay it out on the table just to see the direction that it lays. Once the bug net's laid out, you can see the direction that you're gonna lay it on the van. And we're gonna make sure this little van speed logo tag right here is facing outside the van. Go ahead and grab your clamps and clamp it to the top of where your rubber trim is up there. Right here, we have the bug net clamped inside the van and I have the bug net clamped on top of the rubber trim. But when we install it, we're gonna install it behind the rubber trim. Slowly pull back the rubber weather stripping along and tuck the bug net behind the stripping. You want to start installing your bug net from the top and then you'll want to go ahead and start to press it back on to hold it for you. And then work your way along the edges. This is going to allow the bug net to get held from the top and not fall down as you install it. As you put your bug net installed around the weather stripping is you want to make sure that you're not worried about tightening it or adjusting it. Focus on that at the end. Now that we have the bug net up and all secured and hanging from the van, as you see, it's a little uneven on the sides and the top. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and work our way around and even it out. Starting by pulling up this side a little bit and then working our way to this side. If you're finding that your weather stripping is starting to fall off as you are installing your bug net, go ahead and pinch the rubber weather stripping that you're pressing onto your door. This stripping is starting to pry open, so you wanna go ahead and press it closed. Now that the bug nut is all ready to go and it's all tight and secure, um, you could certainly tighten it even more if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my clamps and then you'll have excess material along the side um, that is used for when adjusting and installing it that we'll go ahead and just trim off with a razor blade. After you're done trimming all the edges around the bug nut, you wanna go ahead and grab a heat gun and hit all the frays along the bug net. This is gonna prevent it from coming out in the future. Now we're gonna move on to the rear bug net. I'm gonna take my two slots right here and I'm gonna put them over the latches for the doors. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and clamp my bug net in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same steps I did for the sliding door on the rear. Thanks for checking out our rear and sliding door bug nut install. That's it for now. If you're interested in this, you could purchase it on our online store and I'll see you on the road.